Hello everyone, in the previous video we created a login form using the entry object. In this video, we will create a simple login form using the combo box object. The user will enter the name and surname values into the entry objects. After making a selection in the combo box object, he will click the button. The entered values will be displayed in the label object. I will do the project again with you. At the end of the lesson you will understand how to use combo box objects. So let's start. I created an empty desktop window. First, I will add the frame object. We learned how to create it in previous lessons. I'm sending the properties of the frame object to the function. I'm adjusting the dimensions. I place it in the window using the pack function. We added the frame object to the desktop window. Now I'm creating an entry object for the user to enter a name. I am sending some parameters to the function. These parameters represent the physical properties of the object. You can better understand how they work by changing the parameters sent. I place it in the window using the place function. Thanks to the parameters sent to the function, you can adjust its position as you wish. I added an entry object to the desktop window. I'm adding one more entry object for the user to enter surname. I can copy paste. I just changed the variable name and the placeholder text property. We added the entry object's forename and surname to the desktop window. Now I will create a combo box object. I am creating a string to set the default value. I will use this value in the combo box function shortly. I am creating a variable for the combo box function. I will pass parameters for combo box to the function. I set their values. I am creating the default value of the combo box object with the variable I just created. I adjust its position in the window with the place function. I created a combo box object with a default value of null. Let's change the default value. Notice that the value changes initially. Now let's create a button. I am sending some parameters to the button function. In this way, I can adjust the physical properties of the button.
I am defining a task function for the button. I set its position in the desktop window with place. I define the task function. I will not take any action now. I define with pass. The button has been added to the desktop window. Finally, I will add the label object. I am sending some parameters to the label function. The parameters sent represent the label object. According to the information entered by the user, the label object will constantly change. That's why I'm specifying a variable. I will create a variable with the string var function in a moment. I'm setting the position of the label object by sending parameters to the place function. I create the label variable with the string var function. The last object has been added to the desktop window. Now I will code the task function. I need to access the information entered by the user. I will save all values in variables. Then I will set the label object with the set function. I can access all data with the get function. Remember to take it as string. I am creating a string with the set function. Clicking the button will change the label object in the desktop window. Let's test the project. The user will enter the name and surname values into the entry objects. After making a selection in the combo box object, he will click the button. The entered values will be displayed in the label object. In this example, we learned how to use the combo box object. Thanks for watching. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me.